Question 4 from uh, uh, final examination January 2018 giving you the statement of financial position of Zahira Enterprise as at 31st December 2017 and the additional information consists of one cash sale and credit sale for the year ended 2017 was 20,000 and 80,000 respectively to cost of goods so was 60% of sale. And the question A1 is compute the gross profit ratio or gross profit margin. The gross profit margin formula is gross profit divided with net sale time with 100%. Since the amount of gross profit is not given, we can calculate the gross profit by using this formula which is net sale minus cost of goods sold. Net sale is not given, therefore we can use additional information one to get the total sale. Total sale is equivalent to cash sale 20,000 plus with credit sale 80,000 which is amounted to 100,000. And then you need to minus it with Cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold is from additional information too, whereby the cost of goods sold was 60% of sale. 60% of sale means 60% time away 100,000, which is equal to 60,000. And then for the net sale, net sale is equal to the total sale. Since the return inward is not given, you can take the amount of total sale instead of net sale. So total sale is equivalent to 100,000. The gross profit is equal to 100,000, which is net sale minus the cost of goods, so 60,000. So you will get the gross profit of 50,000. And for the net sale is equivalent to 100,000. You divide the gross profit with the net sale and then you time with 100%. So with the answer you will get is 40%. And then for the net profit margin, the formula is net profit divide with net sale. Since the amount of net sale is not given, uh, you can use the total sale instead of the net sale. Total sale is equal to 100,000. Net profit is given in the equation amounted to 25,000. Therefore, 25,000 net profit divide with the sale amounted to 100,000 times with 100% is equal to 25%. And for the next question, three current ratio, the formula is current asset divided with current liability. Current asset is given in the equation, in the statement of financial position, the total current asset is equivalent to 76,500 ringgit. And then for the current liability, the total is 28,250. For the current ratio, total current asset at 76,500 ringgit divided with total current liability 28,250 is equal to 2.71. And for the question A4, quick ratio, the formula is total current asset divided with uh, total current asset minus with closing inventory minus with prepaid expenses divide with total current liability. Total current asset is in the statement of financial position at 76,500 ringgit and then the closing inventory also in the statement of financial position under current asset closing inventory is equivalent to 20,000 ringgit and then minus with prepaid expenses, the information also is given in the SOFP under the current asset prepaid or prepaid expenses is amounted to 500, which is for prepaid rental, plus with 300, which is for prepaid advertising, plus with 700, which is for prepaid insurance. And then you need to divide this amount with the total current liabilities at 28,250. 
So total current asset minus closing inventory minus all the prepaid expenses is equivalent to 55,000 ringgit and then divide with the total current liability of 28,250, the answer is 1.95. And for the next question, B, explain the ratio that have been calculated above. So you need to interpret the ratio of gross profit margin, net profit, mar net profit margin, current ratio, and quick ratio. For the gross profit margin, refer to your answer in A1 above. The answer is 40%. So when you interpret, you can... You can write the interpretation as the business earn 40 ringgit of gross profit from 100 ringgit of sale. Or it also can be interpreted as the business earn 40 cent gross profit from 1 ringgit of sale. Okay, for the next or the second one is net profit ratio or net profit margin. So the answer is 25% how to interpret this figure. So the answer or interpretation for net profit margin is the business and 25 ringgit of net profit from its 100 ringgit of sales. Or you can, uh, I, you can interpret interpret this ratio as the business earn 25 ring 25 cent net profit from its one ringgit of sale and then for the third one is current ratio the answer is 2.71 so how to interpret this ratio it mean that for the current ratio the business has 2 ringgit and 71 current seven, Two ringgit and seventy one cent of current asset to pay it one ringgit of current liability, and for the last one quick ratio, the answer is one point nine five. It means that the business has one ringgit and ninety five cent quick asset to pay its one ringgit of current liability, and for the last question, give three uses of ratio analysis. Number one is to measure the liquidity of the business by using current and quick ratio. Number two, to measure the efficiency of the business in managing its asset to generate sales. And these ratio are inventory turnover ratio and account receivable collection period. And number three is to measure the profitability of the business by using gross profit margin and net profit margin. That's all.